This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 8, Module 2, Applying the Properties of Operations to Add and Subtract Rational Numbers. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students use properties of operations to add and subtract rational numbers without the use of a calculator. Students recognize that any problem involving addition and subtraction of rational numbers can be written as a problem using addition and subtraction of positive numbers only. Students use the commutative and associative property of addition to rewrite numerical expressions in different forms. They know that the opposite of a sum is the sum of the opposites. For example, the opposite of the quantity 3 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 3 plus 4. This lesson is the first of a two-day lesson using the properties of operations to add or subtract rational numbers. The lesson begins with a focus on representing the opposite of a sum as the sum of its opposites so that students may efficiently arrive at sums and differences of rational numbers. The focus includes a representation of negative mixed numbers so that students conceptualize negative mixed number as a negative integer plus a negative fraction. Our essential question for this lesson is, how is it helpful when finding the sums and differences of rational numbers to use the properties of operations? In example one, the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. The opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposite, and we're going to use a specific ma math example to show this. Let's say the numbers are seven and negative two. Then the sum, 7 plus negative 2 equals 5. A rational number is 7 and negative 2. And the sum would be 5. Then find the opposite of the sum. The opposite of the sum is negative 5. And then the sum of its opposites. So the opposite of 7 would be negative 7. The opposite of negative 2 would be positive 2, and the sum of negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5, and that is the opposite of the sum. In exercise 1, represent the following expression of a single rational number. That simply means to answer with one number. So our problem negative 2 and 2 fifths plus 3 and 1 fourth minus three-fifths. There are two ways that we could solve this problem. So first, the two possible methods. We've got uh, getting a common denominator of 20, and then rewriting each fraction using that common denominator. Then, Convert negative 2 and 8 twentieths into a improper fraction. Convert 3 and 5 twentieths into an improper fraction. Then subtract 17 twentieths minus 12 twentieths. And you get 5 twentieths for an answer, which is 1 fourth. The other possible method that you could do this with is to First, take a look at what they've done with the three-fifths. So we've moved it and exchanged places with the three and one-fourth. And that is the commutative property of addition that says that you can change the order without changing the answer. Then they have combined the negative two and two-fifths plus negative three and three-fifths, and they got negative two and five-fifths. And that is equal to negative three. Then your next step is to combine the negative three and the positive three, and that gives you zero, and zero and one-fourth is one-fourth. Example two, use the number line model shown below to explain and write the opposite of two and two-fifths as a sum of rational numbers. Before we continue with example two, I just want to go back to example or to exercise one for a moment and say the purpose of showing those two methods. So on the left, we did common denominators, and on the right, we did regrouping. And the whole purpose of exercise one is just to take a look and see which would be the more efficient method and which method is less likely to result in errors. 
So think about which you would rather do. Would you rather rewrite using common denominators as the method on the left or regrouping as the method on the right? All right, let's continue to example two, a mixed number as a sum. Use the number line below to show and explain and write the opposite of two and two fifths as a sum of rational numbers. So the positive two and two fifths, here is it shown on the number line. And then you can see that two and two fifths is a sum of two and two fifths. And then the number line below it is actually shown separating the two and the two fifths. The purpose of this is to show that a mixed number such as two and two fifths is actually the sum of the integer two and the fraction two fifths. And the same can be said for its opposite. So the opposite of two and two fifths is negative two and two fifths. And that is the sum of two and two fifths. And it is the opposite. So two and two fifths added together equals two and two fifths. And then the opposite of that gives you the negative. And the whole arrow represents the negative two and two fifths. And then below, in two steps, showing that negative two plus negative two fifths is negative two and two fifths. So the opposite of a sum, which is the top single arrow pointing to the left, and the sum of the opposites correspond to the same point on the number line. These correspond to the same point on the number line. Pause the video to complete exercise two, then resume the video to check your answers. Rewrite each mixed number as the sum of two signed numbers. So negative five and five eighths is the sum of negative nine plus negative five eighths. Complete B and C and then check your work. Pause the video to complete exercise three, then resume the video to check your answers. Represent each sum as a mixed number. In example A, negative one plus negative five and one, sorry, negative one plus negative five twelfths. The sum is negative one and five twelfths. Complete B and C and then check your work. Exercise four, Mr. Mitchell lost 10 pounds over the summer by jogging each week. By winter time, he had gained five and one eighth pound. Represent this situation as an expression involving signed numbers. What is the overall change in Mr. Mitchell's weight? Pause the video to complete the exercise and then resume the video to check your answer. Let's go through this problem step by step. The initial equation is negative 10 because it is a weight loss. And then the 5 and 1 eighths is positive because he gained it back. Then we want to change the 5 and 1 eighths to the sum of its integer and fraction, which is 5 plus 1 eighths. Then we want to regroup the integers together, negative 10 plus 5. That results in negative 5 plus 1 eighth. This is different sign difference, so you'll want to subtract those numbers. And think, is the answer negative or positive? And the answer will be negative 4 and 7 eighths. Exercise 5. Jamal is completing a math problem and represents the expression negative 5 and 5 sevenths plus 8 minus three and two sevenths with a single rational number as shown in the steps below. Justify each of Jamal's step, then show another way to solve the problem. And keep in mind when they say to answer with a single rational number, that just means to find the answer. So in our first step, Step one, subtracting a number is the same as adding its inverse. So subtracting three and two sevenths is the same as adding a negative three and two sevenths. 
The second step is applying the commutative property of addition, where they have regrouped to combine the mixed numbers together. Step three, the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposite. So they've rewritten the negative 5 and 5 sevenths as negative 5 plus negative 5 sevenths. They've rewritten the mixed number negative 3 and 2 sevenths as negative 3 plus negative 2 sevenths. Then step 4. Applying the commutative property of addition where you combine or you regroup and put your fraction parts together. Then combine your fraction parts, and that gives you the negative 1. Step 5, apply the associative property of addition. The 5 sevenths and the 2 sevenths equals the 7 sevenths, which equals the negative 1. In step 6, combine that negative 5 and the negative 1 to get negative 6. In step 7, combine negative 6 plus negative 3 to get negative 9. And finally, in step 8, negative 9 plus 8 equals negative 1. In this lesson, you have learned to use the properties of addition to regroup terms so that we can efficiently arrive at an answer more efficiently. That's redundant. Additionally, the opposite of a sum is equal to the sum of its opposites. So negative 4 and 4 sevenths can be written as negative 4 plus negative 4 sevenths. And negative, or the opposite of the quantity, 5 plus 1 third is equal to negative 5 and 1 third.